Welcome to the Smarter Balanced Assessment Consortium's Elementary School Mathematics Grade Level Considerations Training Module. This module examines considerations for item and task development that are specific to grades 3 through 5. The topics discussed in this module include use of appropriate grade level and mathematics vocabulary, an overview of the Smarter Balanced Style Guide, appropriate representation of numbers in items and tasks, grade appropriate contexts, item difficulty, and the assessment targets that are grade level specific. Let's begin with grade appropriate vocabulary. Items must be written so students can understand the items and tasks without difficulty. Vocabulary used must be at or below the grade level being assessed. Appropriate grade level mathematics vocabulary is defined in the Common Core State Standards for Mathematics and the Smarter Balanced Mathematics item specifications. The Smarter Balanced Style Guide provides both global style conventions that apply to all content areas and style conventions that are specific to mathematics. The mathematics style conventions can be found in the Smarter Balanced Style Guide. It is important to review the Smarter Balanced Style Guide before writing items and tasks. The Smarter Balanced Style Guide includes some considerations that are specific to grades 3 through 5. Let's first take a look at the treatment of numbers. Numerals should always be used to represent numbers that are referenced in a word problem, appear in equations, or are in a pattern. In addition, the Smarter Balanced Style Guide directs item writers to use words for numbers that appear as the first word in a sentence. Words should also be used for the numbers 0 through 9 with the following exceptions. Use numerals for numbers 10 and above, numbers that precede units of measure, numbers that precede or follow symbols such as the percent sign or dollar sign, dates and years, time of day that appear before a.m. and p.m., and ordered pairs and coordinates. Let's look at two examples. In the first example, the student will use the numbers to perform a computation. For this reason, the numbers 10 and 3 are both presented as numerals in the stem. In the second example, the number 2 is describing the number of children but will not be used to perform a computation. Since the number 2 is less than 10 and is not being used in the context of a computation problem, the number 2 is presented as a word rather than a numeral. For all grades, there are rules that must be followed when using commas in numbers. Use commas in numbers with five or more digits. Numbers with four digits if the number appears with numbers of five or more digits. And numbers written as words. Do not use commas in numbers with four digits if all numbers with which it appears contain four or less digits. Compound measures. The style guide also provides guidance on appropriate methods for representing missing values. Let's look at three examples. To represent an unknown number, use an empty box or a question mark. Do not include an ellipsis in patterns. Instead, use a question mark to emphasize a missing element. Use the multiplication symbol rather than the product dot. Finally, when directing students to reference a mathematical equation or expression, use the term equation or expression, do not use the term number sentence. Contexts of items must be appropriate for the age and experiences of elementary school students. An appropriate context for grades 3 through 5 could include sports played during physical education, school contexts that are universal to all children, school activities such as class trips, going to the library, music class, and playing games in physical education class are all universal activities. Some examples of inappropriate contexts for grades 3 through 5 include skiing since it is an expensive sport and has geographic bias, swimming pools and backyards due to socioeconomic biases, earning money at a part-time job, or saving to buy a car would be appropriate contexts for older students, but not appropriate for younger students. A range of difficulty is necessary to discriminate between low and high performing students. Items and tasks should form a continuum from easy, those that most students could be expected to answer, to hard, those that only a few students could be expected to answer, with most items falling in the middle range of difficulty. An adaptive test requires items that span a full range of difficulty. 
item writers need to include items that they perceive as easy, medium, and hard. To help guide the development of items that range in difficulty, each sample item presented in the item specifications provides information about its anticipated difficulty level. Now, let's examine the claims and assessment targets contained in the Smarter Balanced Assessment Consortium Mathematics Content Specifications. For mathematics, there are four claims. Claim 1 focuses on concepts and procedures. Claim 1 requires students to explain and apply mathematical concepts and interpret and carry out mathematical procedures with precision and fluency. The focus is on content knowledge learned at the grade level being assessed. A variety of item types are used to collect evidence for Claim 1, including selected response, constructed response, and technology-enhanced items and tasks that focus on a particular skill or concept. Content for this claim may also be evaluated at a deeper level with extended response items and performance tasks. Items and tasks have a direct connection to, and emphasis on, the content domains and clusters of the Common Core State Standards for Mathematics. Assessment targets for Claim 1 are based on the cluster level headings from the Common Core State Standards and take into account ways in which the standards tie supporting clusters to the major work of the grade. For grades 3 through 5, there are five categories of assessment targets that are measured, including operations and algebraic thinking, number and operations in base 10, number and operations with fractions, measurement and data, and geometry. Let's look at the progression of knowledge and skills measured for each assessment target across grades 3 through 5. The domain Operations and Algebraic Thinking moves from understanding the meaning of multiplication and division in grade 3 to applying that understanding in grade 4 to writing and interpreting numerical expressions in grade 5. Number and Operations in Base 10 in Grade 3 focuses on using place value and properties of operations to add and subtract whole numbers, multiplying and dividing whole numbers in Grade 4, and solving problems with decimals using the four operations in Grade 5. Number and Operations with Fractions moves from developing an understanding of fractions as numbers in Grade 3 and extending that understanding to equivalent fractions and operations with fractions in grade 4 to solving problems involving the four operations in grade 5. Measurement and data in grade 3 focuses on measuring time, liquid volumes, and masses of objects and solving simple one-step word problems. Grade 4 moves to solving problems involving measurement, representing and interpreting data, and understanding angles. Grade 5 focuses on understanding volume and solving problems that involve estimating and measuring volume. Geometry moves from understanding that shapes in different categories may share attributes and recognizing quadrilaterals in grade 3 to classifying shapes based on properties in grade 4. In Grade 5, students are expected to be able to graph points on the coordinate plane and understand that attributes belonging to a category of two-dimensional shapes also belong to all subcategories of that category. Claim 2 focuses on problem solving and requires students to solve a range of complex, well-posed problems in pure and applied mathematics, making productive use of knowledge and problem-solving strategies. Evidence for Claim 2 is elicited through selected response, constructed response, extended response, and technology-enhanced items and tasks that focus on problem solving. Claim 2 items and tasks should require students to construct their own pathway to the solution. Some relevant verbs that identify content clusters and or standards for Claim 2 include understand, solve, apply, describe, illustrate, interpret, and analyze. Claim 3 focuses on communicating reasoning and requires students to clearly and precisely construct viable arguments to support their own reasoning and to critique the reasoning of others. Evidence for Claim 3 is elicited through constructed response, extended response, and technology-enhanced items and tasks that focus on mathematical reasoning. 
Relevant verbs that identify content clusters and or standards for Claim 3 include understand, explain, justify, prove, derive, assess, illustrate, and analyze. Claim 4 focuses on modeling and data analysis and requires students to analyze complex real-world scenarios and construct and use mathematical models to interpret and solve problems. Evidence for Claim 4 is elicited through performance tasks and collections of extended response items that focus on modeling and data analysis. Claim 4 tasks are real-world problems that are complex and may contain insufficient or superfluous data. Tasks generating evidence for Claim 4 in a given grade will draw upon knowledge and skills articulated in the progression of standards up to that grade, with strong emphasis on the major work of the grade. Relevant verbs that identify content clusters and or standards for Claim 4 include model, construct, compare, investigate, build, interpret, estimate, analyze, summarize, represent, solve, evaluate, extend, and apply. Claims 2, 3, and 4 are aligned to the mathematical practices from the Common Core State Standards for Mathematics and are identical across grade levels. For this reason, the assessment targets for Claims 2, 3, and 4 are not divided into a grade-by-grade -grade description. Rather, a general set of assessment targets is provided, which can be used as guidance for the development of item and task specifications for each grade. The assessment targets for Claims 2, 3, and 4 were presented in the Content and Item Specifications module and can be found in the Content Specifications document. This module introduced topics that should be considered when writing and reviewing items and tasks for grades 3 through 5, such as vocabulary, style, context, and item difficulty. The module also introduced the claims and the assessment targets for Claim 1 for elementary school students that are found in the Smarter Balanced Mathematics Content Specifications.